Hey Photoshop fans, I'm Justin Z, and here's another important video about the tools and techniques of masking. So in the last video, we talked about adding shapes to your mask so you can create a shape that contours to your picture, but adding shapes doesn't necessarily cover those pesky inward curves that we're dealing with when it comes to this bottle. This video is going to cover that by using subtract mode and rotating shapes to fit into corners. What we want to cover is this little area where the body of the bottle meets the neck. To do this, we're going to use the rectangle tool and add a shape over it. It doesn't really matter how big or small it is because we're going to be subtracting from the area. What we want to do is cut away from it. So to do this, we're going to go up to subtract from path mode at the top options panel, which is right here. Now we're going to click an ellipse tool so right there and hold down the shift key so you can create an exact circle and open it up and get as close as you can to the mask itself. Obviously that's not perfect, so we press A, we select it, and we try and move it, but instead of using the mouse, this time we're going to use the arrow keys. You can use the arrow keys to get really close up and make it so you're barely touching it just enough. Let's zoom in a little bit and see how we're doing. That looks pretty good. Let's transform it just a little bit. And that seems to fit pretty darn well. Okay, so we have that, but there's a couple of areas that need to be fixed, and it's these corners right here. So there's a couple methods of doing this, and the first is adding a rectangle and rotating it so it can cover this little corner. So, we're going to go to our ellipse tool and change it to rectangle. Add any old rectangle, doesn't really matter. Nothing too big though. Select it. Command T to free transform it. And then what you want to do is turn it around like so, and then move it over and make it so it touches this area right there. Basically right where the corners are touching. That covers most of it, not all of it, but most of it. And that's good enough. Now we press enter and it is applied, but it doesn't look like it's applied because this is actually Photoshop's issue when it comes to things like this. It doesn't show you finishing your transformation. All your settings should be fine. We're still on subtract, we're still on paths. Everything's fine. It's just not showing up for whatever reason. So you just gotta be patient and eventually Photoshop will catch up with you. So now that we've done that, we wanna cover the rest of the corners, which is a relatively easy thing to do, but I'm running out of time, so we're gonna check with the next video.